Hello everyone. I'm going to show you today uh, how to do a class 4 uh, composite restoration on tooth number 11 for uh, the ADC task um, for composite restoration class 4. First of all, the cavity in the exam is very smooth, so we need to do um, retentive means. As you can see here, there is uh, three grooves uh, I did on the axial wall, uh, and we will we are going to fill uh, these grooves with a uh, flowable composite first and it's okay to do it uh, deep and so uh, and it is allowed to do any modification in the cavity before before you do the restoration then we will apply the light cure Then to start the restoration, make sure that we have you have long transparent strip and appropriate wedges. I prefer using only flowable composite for the whole restoration, but it's okay to do it with packable as well. Or <coughs> sorry, or do at least the the palatal surface. Uh, flowable and the labial um, packable so uh, we are going to put the strip as deep as we can to follow the contour of the tooth make sure that it's following the contour before you apply the wedges and I prefer putting here two wedges one is big and another one a bit smaller to make sure that there is no there will not be leakage proximally Then we will start with the palatal surface first. And put your finger to support the palatal surface. And then we will fill the palatal with part of the mesial first. Make sure that your tip is close to the surface to avoid any porosities and always keep the tip of your syringe inside the material while you are dispensing it
then we will apply the light cure from labial side this first layer should include the palatal surface and also part of the mesial surface as you can see it's already the contact is built and also the palatal surface but incisally it's not yet done okay so then we are going to remove the wedges and adjust the strip a little bit more incisal to accommodate the incisal surface and the labial surface as you can see here the contact is already built so uh, we can put a wedge or we cannot it's okay uh, I mean it's not necessarily to put a wedge now because you are going to put uh, only the labial with uh, only the labial layer with the incisal to build the incisal and labial surface as we are going to use flowable so we cannot close the strip over the tooth because it will lead to uh, uncontrollable excess so it's better to leave it open The same technique here that we need to keep the tip always inside the material and I prefer filling in excess especially incisally so then we can trim it well and we will make sure that there is no deficiency or the incisal edge will be short so we fill it a bit in excess then we can trim the excess during finishing stage then we will apply the light cure then you can see it's already built now labially and proximally there is much excess here and also at the proximal port but we can easily remove it by putting a wedge and then we will use the softlex to remove this excess I will show you a picture after doing the finishing 
but this is uh, just to show you the technique of building uh, the composite using the flowable composite it it takes time for finishing finishing is very important but uh, the, the advantage of a flowable composite that it gives you a high uh, surface polish and also it is um, it, it, it's also uh, it can be quickly done the placement of the of the composite is not taking much time but the finishing may take some time okay thank you